So now we're going to talk about using twin needles. Twin needles are wonderful for using on stretch knits. Um, they're very, very decorative. You can do some very cool things quilting with twin needles. And uh, so let's set up our machine for twin needles. Obviously you want a twin needle. Now on the sizes down here, it's actually going to tell you the distance between the twin needles. And you can go wide, you can go really narrow. So when you look at the needles, it's actually going to tell you what the distance is. So I've just picked a standard three millimeters is what that one is. So you're going to need that. <clears throat> Most people have no idea what this is for their machine. Because we're using two threads on top and we only have one spool holder, we need to add another spool holder and it should come with a cap. Where does this go? It actually goes on your bobbin winder. Snap it on. And this turns this way. And now you have two spools for your thread. So I'll put this thread on here and then put my cap over top. Go. So let's put our twin needle in. It's just like any other needle. It has a flat side to it. And the flat side always goes away from us. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now I'm going to re-thread my machine. So I've put my second spool of thread on here. Now, because I'm doing a twin needle and they're typically used on knits, I've changed to polyester, polyester. You wouldn't sew a knit with a cotton thread because it has no gap. So I've got polyester, polyester. Now I'm going to thread my machine. Take both of your thread strands and let's thread our machine. Out. Make sure I get it in the tension disc, back down and around the hook above the needles. Now, obviously you cannot use your needle threader because it will not line up. So you need to manually thread your machine. And when you go to thread it, always cut your thread on an angle. So it gives it a nice sharp point to go through the eye of the needle. And of course, there's lots of little gizmos that you can buy to help thread your machine. But I have found that cutting the end on an angle makes all the difference. Cut on an angle. It's just popped out of the guide there. I'll put it back in a second. And the nice thing too is that on the shank, the brother has this white here, so you can actually see where you're going. Okay, there we go. So what I need now to do is tell my, sh my machine I actually have a double needle. And in order to do that, I need to go to the menu and tell it that I'm working with twin needles. So, just a reminder, this tells me I'm on page 1 of 10, and if I want to go forward, backward, my arrows, see where I have twin needle? On. Now, I've told my brother machine that I'm using twin needles. Okay. See how the display has now changed. Now, it is actually smart enough to tell me that there are certain stitches that I can use a double needle on and some that I can't. So if I go to menu number two, say if I select, it's actually gonna tell me that I cannot use that function with a twin needle. So that's a really nice warning that you can't do this. So it's a safety feature built in. So if I wanna go back to my utility menu Hit my menu, back to one. 
So right now I just have it in the centered one. So here's some samples of using a twin needle. And I really recommend that you make samples and you write down what the stitch length is and even the type of needle you're using. As you can see, some of these, this is an actual double stitch, which looks quite nice. This is a two. This is a four. These are all tension numbers because when I turn it over, because you only have one bobbin in, it's actually making a zigzag over in order to make that double stitch. So you'll want to practice with your tension to see what works the best. And then I write just with a Sharpie what tension I've used. So my machine is now threaded properly. I have my twin needles in. I've told my machine that I have twin needles in. And typically you're just doing a standard straight stitch with twin needles. So let me get my fabric here. And whenever you use twin needles, you're going to use two layers of fabric. I can't envision just using the one. So I'm just taking my default settings on my machine, holding my threads. So I'm going to do one row and just see what my results are. Needle up. So that's just with my defaults. Nice top stitch. That's very decorative. Let's see what the bottom looks like. That's not bad. It's actually meeting it halfway. So if I look at some of my samples here, you can see when I made my samples, this doesn't look very good. Looks like it's doing a lot of crossing over. Here's typically the kind we want. We want a nicer zigzag. So this is telling me that my top tension is too loose. So whatever, whatever air you have on the bottom, it's usually the opposite has the problem. So this is my top tension. So we're going to adjust my tension and then we'll do another line. So we're going to adjust our top tension. You'll see that right now I'm at a four. So to adjust any of these, the width, length, shift, or tension, you're going to tap on here. Now my tension is at four. Now I'm saying it's too loose, so let's make it a little tighter. So let's go up. And I would probably just go up to five. Let's do another row of stitching and see what five is like. So there's my second row. So this was at a four tension. This is at a five tension. Let's turn it over. Oh, doesn't look a lot different. It should be laying flat. But it didn't make a lot of difference. So let's go up a bit more. Go up to a six. Okay. So especially when you're using a new type of needle, a new technique, you always want to do a sample just to make sure you have things set. And then you keep these in your workbook so that if you ever need to do a flat felt seam, twin needles, you know this is, this is what I need to adjust my machine for to get the best result. I think we're getting a little worse. So I think we're going to change. Let's go the other way. So we're going to go down. 
So it was originally at a four, let's go to a three. Now every machine is different, even one brother model to another brother model. It depends on the, the size of your needle, okay? It depends on the thread you're using, and of course the fabric. So let's try this and see how this it sounds much better. Well, it's laying a lot flatter. So there's my last one, there's my first one. My first one was actually pretty darn good. So if you had a knit, you're doing on a knit, that would actually look quite nice. I think the ones where I went up to four into a five tension, a little two, just didn't work out right. I go back to my samples. This is a really nice stitch. Okay. And on this brother that I was using, I was using the Luminaire on this one. It was actually at a four. So that tension was a four. This one seems to like a three. So that's using your twin needles. Never use your auto cutter on here and do not use your threading needles or your threader uh, because it's not going to line up and you can do damage to them. You have to manually thread your needle and manually cut your thread.